Hi, I'm Mitch from Attella, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Topcon LN50 kit, along with new software Topcon Digital Layer, designed specifically for the construction market. If you're a trade that's doing any traditional type of set out using string lines or tape measures, along with anyone using rotating lasers or height lasers, this is the kit for you. Taking a look at what comes in the LN50 kit, we've got our Topcon LN50 unit, 3D construction laser. Super easy to use, self-leveling at the push of a button. We've got our hybrid uh, timber fiberglass tripod. We've then got our prism and pole set up here, which our Topcon LN50 talks to, to an accuracy of sub three millimeters. So horizontal position plus positioning for height, sub three millimeters. Then we've got our Android tablet, which runs our Topcon digital layout software designed specifically for the non-surveyor in mind. So super easy to use. If you can use a phone app, you can use Topcon Digital Layer. To ensure that you get productive as quickly as possible with this kit, it's important for us to train and support you. Uh, included in this kit is our face-to-face -face training on site. Also using our Takara support, we're able to log into the tablet, see what you're seeing in real time, so you're never stuck on site. So if we talk about electricians, any reflected ceiling plan, so setting stuff out on the floor without string lines or tape measures and then plumbing it up onto the ceiling. Any uh, concreting type work, so set downs, wet areas, anywhere we're setting out edge form, form work, anything like that. Plumbers, so setting out all of your penetrations, any of your in-ground pipe work. This can be used on slab, on deck, in the ground before we've even, uh, you know, just as we've stripped the topsoil. This can be used for all of those things. Another really good value out of this kit is the digital traceability. So what I mean by that is being able to record what we're setting out in real time, everything's date stamped. So you can recall any of that information in six months time. Gone are the days of trying to recall what we've done via string line or tape measure where it's just as good as our word. We record all of this and can output friendly reports directly out of Topcon Digital Layout. In addition to your handover training and uh, ongoing Takara support, we also had to have a think about the data going into the software. We've solved that problem by including your first data set in the kit. You give us your data, your drawings, we'll help make sense of it and we'll give you the working drawings that feed back into the software to get you productive on site. To give you a bit of an understanding on how the LN50 and Topcon Digital Layout works, we're going to use, utilize one of our demonstration mats here at Aptella. So this is very similar to a site that you'd all be familiar with. So we've got a range of ducting, grid lines, some hold down bolts. Obviously this is nice and easy for us to visualize. So you're gonna be able to see on the software how this translates to the ground. So I've set up the instrument. Uh, how I've done that and how you might do it on site is by referencing a few known control points. Now we don't always have access to those. So another way we could do it is by referencing grid intersections or some building lines, even a slab edge. So any intersecting lines, we take a few measurements and the instrument now understands where it sits relative to the job site, relative to our digital data. And as the instrument tracks us around with the prism, it's understanding where we move in that digital space as well. So we're moving around inside our design. So first of all, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to stake out a point within Topcon Digital Layout. So as you can see, we've got our digital data here on the screen, all of our information on the map. We're just gonna zoom in here and look at our hold down bolts. So I'll grab one of these hold down bolts. Once I've selected on the map, I'm just going to hold down. That brings up our action menu. I'm gonna hit, hit Layout Selected Point. Now what we can see here is we're getting some directions on how we're going to navigate to that point. I'm just gonna spin my screen a bit here so it fixes our orientation, makes everything nice and easy. Basically what it's telling me to do is move 681 millimeters towards the instrument and 31 millimeters left. So I'll start moving in towards this point. We'll just get over our information here. So I'll level up my uh, pole. Now it's saying 60 millimetres towards our instrument, seven millimetres right, so I'll make that adjustment. It's obviously nice and easy on the mat here. We can see what we're trying to stake out, but it helps us visualise what's happening. This screen uh, will actually light up green once we're within our tolerance. So 
So as you can see there, we're within zero and two millimeters. We're getting this overlaid uh, green banding around the outside. I've set it to a five millimeter tolerance. So we can now set out that point and carry on to the next one. So once again, we're just gonna use our main map screen here. We're gonna focus in on this piece of green ducting. So we're going to set out this line. So it'll be that one there. What I'm going to do in this instance, just to show you the other workaround, is we're gonna click on the applications button at the top and we're going to go layout line. Now it's just saying select a line arc or two points to get started. So we'll select that green arc line there and we're now setting it out. So as you can see, on the screen here, the purple information is showing our chainage or our distance along the line. In the white box on the left over here, we're seeing our left and right offset. So at the moment, it's telling us that we need to go left 274 millimeters. So if I start to move this and we start to get closer to that duct, you can see that number's coming down. So at the moment, it's saying we've got to go left another 64 millimeters. So once we're right on the line and we level up, we are once again green, we're within one millimetre. The cool thing about this is we can actually extend this all the way out beyond where the line work actually goes. So this is excellent for projecting line work out onto profiles or anything like that where you want to get your set out out of the way of the construction site. As you've seen, we've staked out the horizontal position of a point and a line, but what about height? So. I've got a little bit of an area here where we're going to run through some of these routines, which is called digital tape and height transfer. Some of the real world scenarios that you might use these things for is if you've, you're a plumber and you've laid a pipe, to be able to check the grade, slope distance, horizontal distance, that difference in elevation in real time instantly. So no having to set up a pipe laser, we can confirm that height instantly just by using these routines. Starting with the digital tape routine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the base of this pipe over to the base of this pipe to see what kind of fall we have between those two. So we're looking at difference in elevation. So I'm just going to move over to our first point. We're going to hit on the applications tab at the top of the screen, go across to the right and hit digital tape. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a digital tape measure. We get on our first point, hit the blue button down the bottom right. We take our first shot. So now we'll move over to our second point. So we're standing there, hit the record button again. Now you can see in the bottom of the screen here, we've got our height difference. So our second point is five millimeters lower than our first point, showing us that we've got five millimeters fall over a slope distance of 1.292 meters. So another great feature of Topcon Digital Layout is height transfer. It's a really good tool to use because it takes a lot of the human error component out of it. So gone are the days of manually booking uh, your receiver heights and working out instrument heights. By setting up this on site, it does all of the hard work for you. We set our staff height and everything like that. And then it can be as simple as transferring a height from one place to another. So I'm gonna jump into height transfer now. So we're gonna hit application at the top of the screen. We're gonna scroll across to height transfer. I'm going to move our pole to the surface that we want to match. So I'm just sitting on this slab here. So we've got about a 50 mil set down. Once I'm in position, I'm just going to hit benchmark and then hit this blue button record. So, and now I'll hit the green tick. So we've matched that concrete height and we're now going to project that out into this set down. Just uh, for an example, we might have to fill this up. So as you can see, if I'm sitting here, it's saying we're going to come up 60 millimeters to match that existing concrete height. So as I move around in here, I might go here and we'll get another height here, 67 millimeters. And as you can see, as we come up and we get closer to our matched level, it actually turns green and it can transition to cut or film. So hopefully this short video has given you a bit of an understanding on what the uh, use cases are for the Topcon LN50. Uh, there's a bunch more applications and a bunch more trades that this can be used for. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about the LN50 kit, visit our website at teller.com, drop into one of our friendly branches or give us a call.